Hi, and welcome for the poster number 608. We are August 30. I already typed the information on my layout today. And something new, I import a silver brain, brain and a black brain. So let's get started with the design with the running color weed <laughs> please don't do that to me it's not possible yeah um, as you notice i already start a new poster mini series with uh, the 3D render of this brain and uh, I am trying to to deal something with it something uh, nice and beautiful trying so let's get started I uh, really like the poster I made these days with these geometric shapes uh, they are really they are really nice according to me and I want to continue to explore a little bit this way so I am about to do it again let's hide black the dark gray brain for now and get inside silver brain for now a moment and see what I can do with this brain uh, I want to extend the, the top part of the brain and try to create dim dimension into the poster and between the future element of the brain so I am cutting the brain. I'm using the pen tool with this pass option selected. Don't take shape if no, you will create a shape. Selection. Okay. Okay. Um, Introvert the selection, command C, command V to copy and paste the top of the brain there. Command T and let's enlarge it around 100% come on let's go so if you saw the first uh, poster I made about this mini series you will uh, notice that I am doing a lot uh, of time uh, repetition about the shadow and I duplicate the layer I select the shape there I paint into the selection with the brush tool in black or whatever color you want the shadow looks like. And to select a layer, you come over the thumbnail image there. You maintain push the keyboard touch command and you click on and that creates a selection of every element inside the layer um, so really I'm considering um, I'm considering to find another uh, registration software because uh, uh, the one I'm using now use really too much uh, of my resource and it make it slow down Photoshop so much 
that it's not possible to work with it. So I go to blur, Gaussian blur, and I hit the button OK. Filter Gaussian blur in progress. So no, it's too small. Uh, filter blur Gaussian blur again. I should be more careful. I was using 120 radius pixel for the biggest uh, for the bigger elements in the canvas, and uh, 60 for the smaller one like that. Uh, the shadow doesn't look too strong on the on the little elements and not too too light on the biggest element let's place the shadow a bit down there like this that's awesome let's uh, let's merge them it's fine i know i want this shape there um oh yeah uh Yesterday I made a poster. I made a poster. The number 29. Oh, yeah, it's this one. I made a poster with nice colors and I want to reuse it today because I really like them. It's a, it's a light blue gradient to, to pink and the color are really really nice i want to use them now again without uh, playing with the uh, with the adjustment layer so photoshop is reading photoshop format it's in progress it's a very large file that's one of the reason why uh, the yeah, the file is heavy and uh, I have to wait a moment before it open. Here are the color I'm talking about. Uh, uh, building histograms. Okay, as you want, or maybe it should be as I need, but it's not the case for now. Yeah, you see the difference there? So I will select the top of this color and the top, the, the downest, down there to do something with it on the other poster. Don't save for sure because I don't want to save it. Let's go. Ah, oh, building, building histograms. On this poster really that just let me time to finish my coffee so set a gradient go there And I want okay. Come on. I want this pink there. Yeah. And I want this blue to go there. Okay. Fine. New pink to blue gradients that's the name okay new that's a new gradient nice <coughs> so 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 um what uh, was i about to do oh yeah um i want to duplicate uh, no, no, I won't duplicate it. I will cut inside the brand one more time. In a different way. Let's 
see what I can do with that. Selection, feeder, feeder radius 0 0.5, fine, interval selection, copy and paste, and that create, create a new layer with the shape I uh, selected just uh, now. Okay, it looks pretty weird. What if I enlarge it from oh no, 110%? No, no, it looks too weird. I won't do that. It's too strange. And get rid of that ugly shade there. I will cut that part here. Selection, okay. Command C, Command V. I select the shape B on the keyboard for the brush tool and I paint inside the shape but not uh, with a pink color obviously it's not a color for a shadow with a poster on a black background Ah, and I'm waiting for my city. Well done, congratulations. Select black and paint it in black. Oh, do you know what I want to sing now? Um, like usually, like usual. Gaussian blur. Wow. Gaussian blur in progress. Of course, we have to wait a moment. Here it is. And I move the shadow a little bit there. Fine. Mm, pretty strange there. Let's see the dark gray brown. I can do something with it. And I think I will cut inside a little bit too. Oh, like usually, make selection. Okay. Intervert, Command C, Command V. I get rid of this to see what happens there. And it's not that bad. I'll add a uh, shadow. You know the process now. We already did it two times on this poster only. Mm. And you go to filter, Gaussian blur. Let's see what happens with the black brain. Yeah, it's create nice effect. Hmm. Let's see. 
let's select an organic shape from there to there and there make selection okay command c command v whoa 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 i was not on the right layer so for sure it would do something else something that i totally don't want I place the la this layer on the top of the others and here I come I change a little bit the rotation and I place it around there as usual create a shadow for for it up down go to Gaussian blur apply rendering waiting but that let me a little bit the time to think about what I will talk and do in a few moments okay i can merge them i can merge these two there too okay maybe not maybe i should duplicate them make them smaller yeah like this one more time and make it smaller again like this and see what happens there looks uh, relatively fine i just want for this shape i want to apply the the gradient i made before over it and for that I will create a rectangle a rectangle cover the wall shape come back to the layer like this apply a blending mode over uh, let's look uh, what can be fun or nice and the uh, vivid light light uh, looks uh, relatively good so I merge them together. Yeah, like this. It's a bit the uh, touch of colors. Oh, what am I doing? And I merge the the shape with the shadow. Mm-hmm. Okay. Come there and start to cut inside the brain. I have a, an ID. Don't want to have a full brain on the poster. Okay. For the selection, Command C, Command V. Oh, no, no, no. no. <coughs> First, I should remove that part. of the brain like this
and create a shadow for this part of the brain like that and wait a little moment yeah, I want to play, place uh, some colorful element behind the brain and uh, that will allow me to be more playful with with geometric cha shapes and uh, any other ID I will get uh, while I am doing this uh, it can be pretty interesting so now you see it black because it is over the brain layer so I place it behind filter Gaussian blur and let's apply the Gaussian blur effect for now you won't see it clearly because the background and there is uh, nothing uh, behind the brain but it will come I duplicate the layer select this shape and paint it in black again to create a shadow and go to Gaussian blur again Yeah, it's very repetitive, but uh, it really brings depth to the poster, and I really like that. It's uh, yeah, it's nice. It's easy. It's it's good looking. Gaussian blur. Yeah, there are really many ways to improve your shadow into Photoshop. But as you know. I don't have all the day for make my posters so I have to be quick as fast as possible except ooh, except when Photoshop bother me by searching something he doesn't need but that's life I guess uh, let's uh, try uh, geometric shape there in the center like I did yesterday it was pretty fine and very interesting okay let's make a huge a huge stroke like that looks okay maybe the placement is not that fine I should be a little bit more up there and down there okay i go up down i said like this it looks fine let's place this layer above the others and create a layer mask by clicking this little button and select the shape where you want to hide so I merge these two layers there like that I can select the shadow too I hit the command B on the keyboard to select the pen tool in black because black erased erased the the layer the things on the layer you put on and now I select I select the top of the brain where it is where are you hey, come on no no no, no. Here you are. I go back on the layer mask and I continue to paint there in black. Yeah. Please. 
comment ok 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 i got it i got it i should not do it this way but i should do it i know i should hide it whoa 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 select the mask layer always and here we are it's relatively good I don't know what you think I always like uh, the fact that things overlap each other in a crazy way. Let's duplicate this to create the shadow. Rasterize the layer, get rid of the, of the mask layer, and select this one, create a new layer, select B, and paint it in, in black, yes, you're right. Wait a moment, of course. Is it done? It's okay. And like the 1000 time I do that, Gaussian blur, oh no. Say so I miss it, I miss it, I miss it again. I should create the Gaussian blur effect with a 60, pers uh, 60 radius pixel and not 100, uh, if not, it will look too strong for that little shape compared to the other Gaussian blur. 60 radius pixel, done, okay. Here we are. Okay, uh, maybe it's a little bit too strong, or maybe not. Maybe yes. Yeah, it's a bit strong. I should uh, use the transparency of the fill at and set it around uh, seventy percent. Looks okay. Yeah, yeah, not bad at all. Hmm, I want to add a little shape inside this shape there. Selection. Okay, Command C, Command V. Duplicate it on the top. There. Hmm, looks weird. Ah, looks weird. It's too dark. Um, Let's add a 
geometric shape somewhere. Not that thing, maybe like that. Get rid of the stroke and add a fill into it, so gradient. Yeah. Command D. Turn it that way, that way. Yeah, like this, it's okay. Put it there. There, like this, yeah. Yeah, like that. I will hide the top of it. Um, and hide the bottom too. So let's create a mask layer first. Select the, that part of the brain. Select this part. Painting black there. Ah, yeah, I think it's okay. I get the, the Gaussian blur effect to make a transparency on the shape. And it would probably not work so well if I add other elements behind this layer. So I have a solution for the problem. You see like this, uh, the background uh, appear. So I will duplicate it several times to make a full shape without any transparency up one or two times. I select all of these layers and I merge them. Shit. Rasterize layers. Yeah. Come on, E. What happens? Yeah, looks fine, looks fine. Now I can place it behind. Um, uh, create a new layer. Yeah, I like that, it's okay. No, we don't like this shape. It should not be there. It looks ugly. Let's continue. Create the poster. Mm -hmm. I should add more piece of the black brain here and here on the poster. I think. Let's do this. Another piece there. Selection. Okay. Introvert, command C, command V to duplicate it and and change the rotation. Get uh, hide uh, this brain there. Uh huh. Maybe that is a 
too big part. Turn it a little bit, go down, click OK, turn it again, see what happens. Maybe that's not the right place. I should place it on the top of the brain. I said maybe again. Here. New layer. Wow. E paint. Filter, Gaussian blur, place it behind the layer. And here we are. Hey. No, I made a mistake. Yeah, I miss uh, the layer. It's not the correct layer to use. Um, and to select, to stop the selection by clicking. Gaussian blur. Ah, 60, 60 pixel radius. <coughs> Should go there. Gaussian blur and 120 pixel for the radius okay here you are nice command t turn it a little bit there and it's done okay see the problem of the poster and the problem is that everything is too huge so let's make it smaller like this the poster has to brace there is a way to to let it brace by playing with the empty space around and you see it's already much better because it's bracing and now i can play more with uh, with other elements and it will be fine let's duplicate some part of the shape oh, of the, sh the the brain there Selection, copy, paste. And make a drop shadow underneath it. Filter, Gaussian blur. in progress yeah like this place it just a little bit down and here we are Now that allow me to create another geometric shape here. Ooh, avoid the cross, uh, Christian cross reversed, and place it there with bigger stroke, twenty nine. How it look like? A little bit more sick. Forty nine. Yeah, yeah. 
not a little bit more 59 let's see how it looks like yeah let's place this one somewhere higher where is it now okay nice Mm. Oh, I should create the mask layer first. Okay, it's this layer, create mask layer here. Go over this part, uh, select it. Come back on the mask layer. <coughs> Hit the command D and paint it in black oh no 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 it's not a soft round I need a hard round ah here we are And it's okay like this. Select this part of the brain, the black part on the left. Go back there and bend the down side of this rectangle here. Yeah, it looks okay like this. And now I think I have to create another layer above to create to paint the shadow of this rectangle there. Uh, what am I doing? Ah, if I don't push the right button, it won't be okay for sure. Okay, a little bit more than 102 pixel, like 100, still not. Yeah, 400, yeah, that's fine. Okay, I need a smaller one there. Still too big. Here we are. Yeah. Looks pretty fine. So now I select that shape. I get rid. Uh, no, I rasterize it. I get rid of the mask layer. In the trash, I apply it. I select the shape. I paint them in black with a bigger brush tool and the hard round to be sure I eat everything and have no no soft uh, yeah make it pure black simply and I paint inside shape did you made it photoshop yeah You're looking for something. I already pushed the. Uh, yeah, yeah, the button there. Fine. Let's use filter, blur, Gaussian blur, 60 radius pixel, 60 radius. Here it is. And it's done.
path fine filter gaussian blur working work on progress and i have a shadow over this shape done some color are missing there so let's get into the brain a little bit as i did before organic shape not so geometric selection okay command c command v to cut the shape command t to transform it a little bit and i want to change the rotation there something like that yeah looks fine you to select the rectangle and i get rid of the stroke because i don't want it i want to fill it with the gradient the pink to blue light blue gradient i made before and it's what i'm doing there Make it over it. I go back to the layer panel and to select the blending mode. Which one is look is uh, working well? Maybe I can change from the vivid light and uh, no, no vivid light uh, looks uh, relatively fine for this. I merge those two layer together like that they are fine hmm no 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 don't merge them and do something else like duplicate the shape above the gradient there hey what happens here i want you to go there yeah place you up on the layer uh very sense come Uh, now you are too high. I want you here. No, above. There. And oh. duplicate this shape down. Okay, not for now. I have to make a shadow for this shape first. Let's create a new layer. Let's place it there. Paint it black. One paint, it's okay. What are you looking for, Photoshop? Now it's the time to do it. Okay, it's done. I'm pushing a button for leave it, but nothing happens. What if I go there? Yeah. Oh, come on. Oh, filter, Gaussian blur, like usually. Whew. Okay. 
Peter Progress Gushing Blur Warning 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 Okay, just do it. Just do it as quick as possible. Okay, is it there? It is there now. I duplicate those things above the shape, the black shape there. And I move them around like this. And maybe I move them up there now this should be smaller this repetition doesn't work well clearly not it's pretty visually aggressive the eyes yeah like this you too you should be smaller like this yeah Okay, I should turn you this shape there is very repetitive too. So I'll turn you and it's it's relatively nicer than before. Now the question is what to add or remove into the brain and outside of the brain. <clears throat> Let's create more stuff I think I am missing some colors Let's add an ellipse around here, not a square, an ellipse. <coughs> Looks fine. Mm. The stroke looks good. Let's select uh, uh, first, but this uh, layer above there oh. Should create a layer mask for this ellipse, then select select this part and paint into the layer mask in black. Uh, 
Oh, no, 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 no. And then painting the layer. And that's not okay. Yeah, take your time. I'm not in a hurry. It's fine. Calculate, calculate. Uh, I, I eat the wrong uh, button or what? No, 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 it's not, not that, not that. Cancel, cancel, cancel. I cannot cancel. Okay. Just want to paint it black in the layer mask. Wow. Let's select this shape. Select it, go up here and same than previous here. Do Let's find the brain, the black brain, although dark. Selection. Okay. Current C, current V. And let's add a part of the brain there. It's nice there. Let's create a shadow like usually. Make the shadow there. A filter. Blur, Gaussian blur, 120 radius pixels. And okay. Let's select another shape into the brain, an organic one, like this selection. Come on, come on C, come on V, and let's place it there. Command T to transform and rotate it easily. Let's place those this brain behind to see what happens. Impressive word. Let's add uh, 
shadow to this shape again painted black the one goes in blur and see what happens there okay cyber deck done So, shadow is created. Next. Hmm. There is too much brain there. I think I should do something for that. Like, uh, like use this black brain to cover a little bit something so let's duplicate the wall layer there place it oh no place it above Command T to transform. I want to make it smaller. Please. When you want. Uh, Ooh. Transform in progress. Oh no, it just the place replace it. Oh. Okay, is probably too big. Oh. Come on, come on. Yeah, now it's a critical stage I'm facing into the poster. There are many stuff who doesn't work really there. I have to figure out what, how and why. And I have to fix it as soon as possible, please. Uh, this one is not okay. Let's select the colorful part of the brain there. Duplicate it. Come on, E to merge the layer together. And uh, let's create a mosaic pixel pixelated effect filter 
over it. So you go to filter, pixelate, and mosaic. Pretty simple. Just hit the button. Just hit the button. Two hundred, it's fine. I like when they are huge pixel. Uh, I'm pretty tired. Who care? Just make a poster. Yeah, interesting. Let's duplicate this shape there maybe I should go over the, the top of the brain there here that looks fine yeah it should go over uh, it should go over the shape the big rectangle in the center Come on, yeah, exactly. Fine, fine, fine. I want you to go there too. But not that high on the layer. Maybe, uh, maybe. Um, just down there. Let's see where you are now. No down down I want you behind this shape there a crazy effect I uh, know oh it's fine there you looks fine so let's add uh, some white shape here and here on the poster i don't know where for now but i will find it very soon let's add a circle a white circle there a little one there. Maybe another one bigger there. Yeah, why not? And now let's play with the <clears throat> the dark gradient i used it yesterday yeah i know the problem of this poster of this creation it is that the um, brain is too much compact it's too much compact i try to make something like an helmet a protection for the brain simply doesn't work at all uh, all of this work for nothing no it's not nothing but yeah i'm still learning from my mistake yeah from what i can take from my mistake sometimes sometimes it's also pretty difficult to to notice the the things you are doing wrong because it's so fast you have to be quick and you don't think really yeah I'm more thinking about all the job I have to do later than the poster right now sometimes and that makes me do really silly and mistakes it's really bad but let's focus on that poster and make it good poster Yeah, yeah, select the color there. 
please i'm asking to you yeah but not that much of course yeah come on do it a bit darker and it is done okay so for this shape i will just duplicate it and go to create a shadow for it by hitting the option filter um, blur uh, blur gaussian blur convert this layer into smart object convert to smart object okay One hundred twenty pixel for the radius, just fine, just like usual. Don't change it always. Make it uh, make it natural and repetitive for the eyes. If now it will look strange only for the smaller shapes. Do it a bit thinner, like 60 pixel, like I did all along the poster. And here we are. It's okay. Let's trace a rectangle now behind the shape and see what happens with rectangle rectangle 2 <clears throat> ah. of course naturally take me a white color okay come back to this shape this ellipse and register the gradient um, how to do that now here import gradient up, up, copy new gradient preset Oh. No, 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 no. Cancel. 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 Yeah. Ah, good times. Does it take the gradient? Oh, come on. Okay, okay, I got it. Gradient. Tag. 
There we are. Okay. Is that okay? That's not what they want. No, 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 no. Can I drag and drop the icon? Okay, okay, okay. Let's continue the business. Here, place the layer a little bit behind the other and see what happens there. Yeah, looks, uh, looks okay. Maybe just a little bit up to hide that part. Yeah. Merge those two layers together and see why it is. Uh, why? Ah, okay. I got it. Oh. Okay, here we are. Hiding that part now. Rasterize. L to select the lasso and just cut that part to come over the brain there. I really don't want that. It's really a little unnecessary detail to break almost everything. Here we are. And uh, Let's take a look to the wall poster. It start to look uh, not so bad. Huh? Mm -hmm. Now let's uh, duplicate the ellipse and apply a mosaic pixelate filter over it and see how it looks like. Ah, take hours. Filter, pixelate, uh, mosaic, convert to smart object. For sure, don't ask it anymore. It's fine, it's fine.
merging layer, completing pending document save operation. Ah, I'm saving the file from a long time ago. Let's uh, finish the poster with duplicating this shape. I don't know why I didn't, I wasn't allowed to, to duplicate it uh, just now. Let's apply the pixelate mosaic filter on it, convert to smart object, of course. Let's see how it looks like. <laughs> 200 pixel square cell size square is okay. That's what I want. I don't have to see the result. That's place it there and hide a little bit of the brain okay let's rasterize it now let's duplicate it and pass it over the rectangle in the center Like this, I pause it there. I hit the command Alt to let it appear only into the rectangles. Yeah, it starts to look okay. Maybe you and your shadow should look a bit bigger. Yeah, that's okay. Okay. Yeah, um, there are many things to improve, like usually. But now I really have to finish it because I spent too much amount of time on it. So let's take uh, all the layers down there, duplicate them, merge them, command D. Um, oh, duplicate it one more time. Filter, other, high pass. Here we are. Come on. Preparing to filter. Oh, preparing to filter. Good. Yeah, yesterday's uh, radius pixel is fine so I hit OK come on let's see if suddenly a blending mode would work well over it Mina light, I like it. It's really strands the, the shape, make it thinner, uh, give it more transparency. Hate, it's fine. And now let's 
take a look on the overall light by adding an adjustment layer levels and see what happens there a little bit darker a little bit lighter no or yes like this nine and maybe nine there too maybe more How does it look like? Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Let's take a look to the design. Command O and see what happens there. Yeah. Yeah, there are many mistakes and things who does not work there. Unfortunately, no time to improve the poster, but it's not so bad. Um, yeah, see you for tomorrow poster number 609. I uh, wish you to have a nice day, take good care of yourself and see you. Good